Hello and welcome to this video. Thank you for joining me. In this lecture, we will learn how to explore the SQL Server Management Studio. SQL is also referred to as SQL. We'll learn how to connect to an SQL Server database using the SQL Server Management Studio. What is SSMS? SSMS stands for SQL Server Management Studio. It is a software tool used to manage all aspects of SQL Server databases. To access the tool, you go to Start, All Programs, Microsoft SQL Server 2014 and then you click on the SQL Server 2014 Management Studio. When the tool is first launched, you are presented with a Connect to Server option and you are given three tabs to populate. The first one you need to populate is the server type. Um, sometimes it defaults to a type. So if you click on the drop down, there are different options here. Um, for the purpose of this lecture, I'm going to leave mine on database engine. I suggest you do the same. The next level is the server name. Because this is just a single instance installation of SQL Server, um, it auto populates it. But if you are in a network environment, it, it will give you option to select because there will be more than one instance of SQL Server. So if you're in a network environment, you'll be going to the drop down menu, clicking on browse for more, and then you'll be clicking on network servers to pick out the server you want to connect to. But because we are only working on a local machine, um, it auto populates the server name for you. Next is the authentication. You are prompted with a way to connect to the server. So there are two main ways. You can connect using Windows authentication or you can connect using SQL Server authentication. If you're using a Windows authentication, no further action is required because you're already connected to the machine. But if you're using a SQL Server authentication, you'll be prompted for a username and the password. I'm going to leave mine on a Windows authentication and click Connect. Once you've connected, the first window you will see on the left is called the Object Explorer window, which is this window here. The Object Explorer window provides a guide and tells and shows you what it's inside the da the database. So you've got the databases here. If you click on the plus sign, it gives you a list of databases. You've got the system database, and then you've got this Adventure Works, which is a sample database. You've also got things like security objects, logins, server roles and so on, and you've got other server objects. So the purpose of the Object Explorer is to give you a list, uh, give you um, some information of what's installed on the server. This window can be moved around, you just grab it, you can move it uh, whichever way you like, but most people tend to leave it on the left, leave it docked on the left. You can also hide it. If you want to hide it, you just click on the Auto Hide, and then click on it again and then pin that and for it to stay. So it's fairly movable. If you find that, that it has disappeared, uh, you can always bring it back by going to the view option and then select Object Explorer and that should bring that up. Another useful window in this tool is the new queries. If I click on this new query tab here, it should give me a window. The window, this query window is where you would write all your SQL command or statements. This is what you need to talk 
to the database and perform different tasks. If you want to write a SQL query, you'll be writing it in this window. Another useful window is the Solution Explorer. So if I go to View and click on Solution Explorer, so this solution, this solution explorer window is used to store various SQL queries as projects. For example, if you've written a query that you want to use at a later time, you can store them inside the solution explorer window. Another window I need to introduce you to is the properties window. If you go to view and click on properties, the properties window is used to provide information, kind of like a detailed information. For example, here is providing some information on this connection here. It's telling me that the connection, the PC name is this and the method of connection. So it just provides more information to objects that have been highlighted. When you are working with queries, if you're writing queries, you must make sure that you've got the correct database set up. I mean, selected. If you look at this window here, it's a database drop down window. If I'm writing a query here, I need to make sure I've selected the right database. For example, I make, if I want to write a query against this, I select that and then write my query. So when my query is executed, it does that against the correct database. So always select the correct database in this drop down window. Also, you've got the toolbar here. You've got the tooltip. So if you want to know what an icon does, you just place your mouse over and the tooltip will give you a hint of what it does. For example, this here tells you that's analysis services. That's this is services again tells you what that is database engine query and so on so if you just hover your mouse over it it'll tell you what each of the icons what they do so you'll be spending if you are working on a sql server database you'll be spending majority of your time using this tool because this will be your key tool you need in managing and performing tasks on the database. In this lecture, we learned what SSMS stands for. It stands for SQL Server Management Studio. It is a tool used to manage Microsoft SQL Server. So any task you need to perform on a Microsoft SQL Server is performed using the SSMS tool. Thank you so much for your time. Please feel free to ask any questions. Take care and bye for now.